back to my channel. I have the rest of the family today for this video because it's a very special announcement. Do you want to tell them? <laughs> We're having a baby! <laughs> so we could not be more excited. Before you start counting on your fingers, <laughs> we got married on June 3rd of this year. We always thought like we wanted to have children kind of right off the bat, but we thought, hey, we'll wait until the end of the year. Then it was 4th of July. We'd been married for a month. And I was like, do you want to wait? And Kyle was like, I didn't want to wait any. <laughs> he didn't even want to wait one month. So I was like, okay, this has been a secret. So we first off are so grateful that, you know, uh, that everything was great and that, you know, we were able to have a baby this quickly. Like we feel so blessed for that, for sure. So how we found out. So I had been using this app called the Glow app, like to track everything. And I recommend it for anybody that's trying to have a baby. Um, it just kind of helps you know your body better and stuff like that. I was talking to my friends that had had a baby and, and Alex, like I already knew that Alex was pregnant because we knew like in the very beginning when they were pregnant. I had asked my friends, I was like, you know, when can I take a test? So I took one and it was later in the day and it was one of the ones with the lines and it like barely had a line at all. And so I sent it to Alex and I was like, oh, nope not pregnant, like I didn't think it could even happen the first month anyway, and she she called me and she said, that's a positive. <laughs> and I was like, what? No, that, that's not a line. And she was like, any line is a line. So I started like Googling that and looking at all these message boards and stuff and all these pictures of women like posting these barely faint lines and everyone's like, congratulations. And I was like, no way, there is no way. So then I got like a bunch of different tests like so many people do, you hear this story all the time. I got the ones that said like pregnant and not pregnant, the ones with the cross, the ones with the line, all of them. And the next morning when I woke up, I took all of them. And <laughs> we had so many sticks lying around our house. <laughs> Every everywhere. single one of them was like pregnant, pregnant, <laughs> pregnant, pregnant. I was like, I just looked at them and I just like laughed. I was just like, oh. Like it was just, it's such a surreal moment in your life. And so I had told Kyle the night before, I was like, I, Alex says I'm pregnant. I got a faint line. And he was I couldn't see like, the line. I, I was looking close and I couldn't see it. And so he was just kind of like, well, like, I can't get too excited. I can't get too yeah. excited. Like, let's just tell me in the morning for sure when you take all the other ones. So I was uh, meeting up with a friend in the morning. I was in my truck and I get a phone call from Mal. And all she said was, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and I yelled so loud. I had my window rolled down. And some poor girl was walking by, going to class over Belmont. And she, like, kind of jumped, thinking some grizzly guy's yelling at her. But uh, I was so, so excited. It um, probably the happiest day of my life. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah, and Kyle was just... He, he was so sweet and, like, so... So when he came home that day, he brought... He went to, where'd you go, Party City? Yeah, Party City. He went to Party City and he got so much baby balloons <laughs> and his new dad glasses and a pacifier necklace and this new mom crown <laughs> and all these confetti guns and he came like running in the house and he like shot off all the confetti guns and was like screaming <laughs> and so excited. He was so sweet and he, he cried for like three days. He was so happy. No, I didn't. As a lot of people say, like that first eight week wait before you get to go to your first appointment, it's very surreal because you don't know. Like so many things can happen and you know, sometimes you aren't even really pregnant, all this stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna try not to get my hopes up. So at like six weeks, I got to go in a little bit early for my appointment. And at six weeks we had the sonogram and they saw the heartbeat. And that's when it was like, oh That my made it real, gosh. that was cool. Kyle was ready to tell our parents right off the bat, but I, you know, you don't want to get your parents hopes up in case something happens, but then I was like, but I would tell them if something did happen. So we went home that weekend and we decided to tell them. And so I got two little onesies and my mom's going to be called Grammy. So it said, I love Grammy on my mom's. And then the other one for my dad said like, let the spoiling begin April, 2016 or something. My mom was so excited. She just kept saying, God bless America. God bless America. Like, she was so excited. 
and thrilled and happy and my dad was so excited too and it was awesome. We gave your mom a onesie also, just like we did to my mom. Yeah, Matt Mallory She's said. She's like, why are you getting me a present? And I was yeah. like, because it's Labor Day, it's a Labor Day present. I was, she was like, but why? And I was like, just open it. <laughs> and she was, I was like, I got my mom the same thing. <laughs> Because I got my mom a present, so I got you the same thing. Because you and my mom are besties. Thank you. <laughs> She's a so little. Sweet. I, need to, I know I your text best friend. Her randomly, randomly about. Stuff. I know she tells me all the time your best friend, so it's just a Labor Day present. <laughs> oh. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 no! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! I'm really thankful that at least we got one person's reaction on tape yeah. because it was so good. And I loved it because my mom was like, I want to see when you tell Kyle's parents. So that's the reason that we even filmed it in the first place was to show them. But it was just, it was so exciting. That was at seven weeks, and um, yes, it's early, but I always say, like, go with your gut. If you want to tell people, like, as soon as you take that pregnancy test, tell your family. You're going to be surprised <laughs> because most people announce at 11, 12 weeks. So when you're watching this, I'm almost 17 weeks. So I'll be 17 weeks this Friday. So it's been extremely hard to hide because I'm so small and my belly is so big. <laughs> So especially this last weekend in Chicago with Alex and Michael, like they've known since the very beginning, so obviously we don't have to hide from them, but I mean, I am a pregnant person. Kyle loves it. He, I love it. He loves the whole pregnancy thing. It's so <laughs> sweet. But um, so yeah, so I am, I'll be 17 weeks this uh, Friday and my due date is April 20th, which is funny. <laughs> Let's hope we don't have it on that day. So I'm exactly one month um, uh, ahead of or one month after Alex, which is so fun. Like, I don't know if you guys that have had babies or that are going to have babies, it is so fun to have it, have a baby with like one of your friends or a sibling or something at the same time. Like, it's so, it's so nice to have somebody to be able to talk to and be like, do you feel like this? Yes. Like, did you, did this happen to you? Like, it was just, it's just so fun and so cool. We could find out what it is. We could already have found out what it is, but we are not finding out. We are going to be a we're gonna be surprised. So when people look at me and are like, are you serious? That's so stressful for me to know. <laughs> but we just kind of love that. We, we've always kind of said since, um, since we first started dating, like when we had kids that we probably wouldn't find out, so. I feel like, you know, as an adult, it's that closest feeling you can get to when you were a kid before Christmas. Like the <laughs> night before, you're, you're excited and just to be surprised, so. Um, yeah. See what you're uh, gonna get. See, see what happens. See get. what. <laughs> see what's cooking up yes. in the office. <laughs> so we're really excited uh, for that. Even though, gosh, it's so fun to go to those gender reveal parties, and I just love those gender reveals so much. Yeah. But we still uh, might do one if we change our mind. No, we won't. We're not changing our mind. No, we're not. We're not. Doing <laughs> he was the one that either. really was strongly against this, and then he's just like, "Oh, maybe we'll do a jigger." Well, again. Alex and Michael's was fun, <laughs> and their family was there. I don't know. It was pretty cool. So, wow. um, so, yeah. so Matt wants to have a girl. Well, if I could pick, obviously, like, obviously, you want a healthy baby. Everyone's always like, "I don't care what it is. I want a healthy baby." Well, duh. Everybody wants a healthy baby. That's a given, of course. But. If I could choose, I think I would choose to have a girl first. Of course, I want both eventually, but I was the oldest girl. I like to be the oldest girl, and all of the names that I have picked out are so cute that are girl names, and boy We've names got are two so awesome hard. Girl names. Yeah, like the girl, the girl names are decided. Uh, yeah, and I've got two boy names. Yeah, one of them we agree on. One of them we're just trying to say out loud and figure out. <laughs> But, um... I don't like the one you... We're still talking about You're it. a cutie, Doug. Like I said, I haven't been sick a day. I've felt awesome, which is great because I've never been busier in my entire life than I've been do than during my pregnancy. Of course, like, you get pregnant and then everything happens. You get, like, three new shows and a book deal and all these things. I know so many people really struggle like with being morning sickness or you know whatever it may be so I've been really fortunate of that the only side effects I have experienced 
is rapid weight gain. <laughs> but I think it might be because like we just had the wedding and I'm kind of coming off of my wedding weight. We gotta talk about Mexican food <laughs> <laughs> by chance. That may have. I thought once I got pregnant that Kyle would be like, oh yes, I'll go anywhere with you. Which for the most part he has been. But so I wanted to go to Mexican every single day right after I found out and but I really thought that he would be like, Oh, you're pregnant, I'll go. So he did. He went with me for six days and then on the seventh day he rested. On the fifth night I was like, Baby, I can't do Mexican. Tonight. So I ate Mexican by myself in the corner booth of some Mexican <laughs> dive in Nashville. Uh, so I kinda like fell off that healthy train. I was really healthy in the beginning, like making all these smoothies with all these greens and stuff. Then I started craving the McDonald's, <laughs> which is not good for a, nit for a fetus. <laughs> I love McDonald's. So I used to work at McDonald's. I stopped when he was 15. So I had to, um, yeah, I had to stop with that. We just couldn't be more excited. But it's just been really, really hard to hide. And we didn't like hiding it. I had to wait for a brand deal to go live before I could announce it. But I also kind of liked a late announcement. You know, it was kind of cool just like keeping it in the inner circle there for a second. And then now it's like special because when I tell you guys I'm like actually pregnant. I'm showing. It's all out there for the yeah. world to see. I love announcing it like once you're actually showing and you're, you know, I'm like almost halfway there. It's so crazy. You it did. flies. Thanks. <laughs> That's what you love to hear. <laughs> Kyle just got me a pregnancy pillow, and it's I'm gonna be sleeping on that when I'm not pregnant for the rest of my life. <laughs> How did I ever live without that? We're gonna live stream the birth at the hospital. No, we are not. <laughs> Gonna live stream the birth at the hospital. Exploit this baby from the get go. So I'm having it here in Nashville. My sister's in Nashville. My parents will, well, my dad's gonna be on Mount Everest, unfortunately. Um, but my mom will be here, of course. All Kyle's family and um, all of our friends. And it's just so wonderful and so exciting. It's everything that everyone says that it will be and more. So I'm finally excited to spill the beans to you guys because it's been so hard to hide. I've been home for so long. But I'm so excited that it's out here in the open.